An officer. Just fine, Judge Carroll. How can I help you today? I was in the neighborhood, thought I'd save the department some time, pick up the medical records in the McMillan case. Right away. Whoa, easy. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, for pity's sake. What the hell are you doing in here? I finally have you here. Uh, you're not carrying your briefcase like a chastity belt. And I don't want to waste this rare opportunity talking about other women. Well, I told you I'm not offended. I'm, I'm curious. Oh. I mean, there was something different in your voice. <laughs> Maybe something urgent. You, you, something hopeful? No, maybe? look, you're reading way too much into a case of mistaken identity. Okay. Well, you know me. I'm a research demon, so uh, your life is pretty well documented. So if I were to do a search with your name fine, and Brenda's fine, name... Fine, fine, fine. Her name's Brenda Barrett. We were involved a long time ago. Serious? We almost married. What stopped you? I uh, left her at the altar. Uh, well, Johnny's convinced that because of my relation to Sonny, I'm too compromised to do my job. I think he's wrong. I don't know. I mean, you are conflicted when it comes to Sonny. Well, you really think so? I've seen it all the time. I mean, on one hand, you're a cop who knows Sonny for who and what he is, but on the other hand, you're a guy who's always wanted to know your father. Yeah, but I would never break the law again to protect Sonny. No, I agree, and that's, I think, where Joni and I differ. I think that you'll always land on the right side of the line, no matter how hard it is to get there. You know, it's moments like this where I really wonder where I'd be without you. Well, you'd be very lost and very confused. Absolutely. You wait for me. Mm, with bells on. Mm. This is me going reluctantly. Something happened at the hospital. Uh, Aiden, Aiden was taken out of the nursery, guys. Where is he? Oh, uh, that's just it, buddy. We don't, we don't know where he is. But that's just for now. It's only for now. Yeah, Lucky's, Lucky's trying to find him. Yeah, your, your daddy is looking for him, and he's going to bring him home. And until then, we just have to say lots of prayers, okay? not kill Tomas Lopez, but Sonny's doing a damn good job making it look like I did. I'll have to make sure your case doesn't land on my docket. I'd have to recuse myself. I couldn't be objective. I'm still mad at you characters about the Corinthos trial. Can't say that I'd blame you. Claire Walsh, your prosecutor? Seems to be. She came by here a few hours ago to get my statement. I wouldn't tell her a thing, though. Well, of course not. You people never do. If you're so innocent, what's the problem in saying so? I don't trust her. Why not? Well, she and Sonny have become a little too chummy for my taste. How chummy? Well, they're practically dating at this point. Be careful what you say, Mr. Zakhar. If I thought you were telling the truth, I might initiate an investigation that could lead to Ms. Walsh's disembarment. Uh, what can I say about Brenda? She uh, was one of a kind. 
so beautiful that it hurt your eyes to look at her. She was volatile, passionate. You sound well matched. Sometimes, but other times it was the exact opposite because we were very explosive together. She was impulsive, um, pain in the ass, but I was I was crazy about her. Was the feeling mutual? Mutual, uh, equal in intensity. So why didn't it work out? I don't think we ever got past me marrying my first wife. Lily, so you were with Brenda before then? You broke her heart. So you fell in love with Lily? But, not at first, the marriage was a business arrangement. Oh, okay. Well, you're pretty good at doing those, aren't you? You're gonna keep busting my job? <laughs> Sorry. Continue. There's not much else to say. Brendan, we, you know, we never got it going. She went her way, I went my way. I haven't seen her in years. So is there um, a reason that all of a sudden you you're thinking about Brenda? I saw an email that she sent to a mutual friend. You miss her, don't you? I'm so glad. Hey, Dante, it's me. Yeah, come in. Oh, thank God you're <laughs> Let me put my detective skills to work. You got caught in the rain. Yes, I did. And my hot water's out. Is yours? I don't think so. Nope. Perfect. I promise I won't use it all. What? Franco's mother had Aiden? Yeah, he, uh, he gave the baby to her. Forged adoption papers and convinced her they were legal. Was she an accomplice? No. No, she had no idea the baby was stolen. Eventually, she believed me. She just, just gave Aiden back. I don't know how I could ever thank you, man. Just uh, enjoy your son. Take care of him. of wine. Mm. Yeah, help yourself. There's red uh, Savoy in the fridge. Great. Thank you for the shower. Uh, don't mention. So there must be something I can do to repay you. I have to admit that occasionally you surprise me. Only occasionally? With all your kids and all their all the mothers of, the, of your kids. I mean, it's hard to believe that underneath it all, you were pining away for some great lost love. Excuse me. I have to take this. Sometimes some words count a little more than others, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it is. It's okay. It's just exactly what you're doing is enough for me right now. I'll show you enough.
I love you, Brenda. 